Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be going over the new update that Emo has just announced. And today they have announced the feature that they've been hyping up all week, and finally, after many people telling them to do this, and them saying they've not got it done in the past, and finally they've done this, they've added NPCs, they've added bandits to the game, all new prizes including bigger cash prizes, Airdrops have been completely revamped as well. So they are adding new NPC bandits and bigger cash prizes. And in below they say we're going to get into the details. First we're going to watch this video that provides here. So over here you can see the jet flying dropping the new crate. And over here it's landed. The bandit fall. And they start attacking the criminals. And it looks like you're going to have to shoot the crate. And it will drop the money there. With bigger cash prizes, as they said. Anyways, let's take a look at the next tweet down here. They say, yes, we're finally bringing NPCs to jailbreak. And these NPCs are armed. There are four types of bandits. And they hate both criminals and police. Bandits will guard the crate at all costs. You'll need to take them down. So, what this means, basically, they will have four different bandits, which have four different jobs. And you'll have to take them down, and then, I guess, you have to shoot the crate, break it open, and get the money that drops out. So, let's take a look at the types of bandits. Let's go to the beginning. Meet your enemy. The bodyguard. Objective. Guard the crate and the crew. Weapon of choice, pistol. So, his main job will be to help defend the rest of the crew and help defend the crate. Which, I assume he'll be the weakest because pistol is the weakest weapon in the game, pretty much. Besides the sword. The chaser. Objective, chase down any nearby players. I assume what he will do then is he will chase down the players instead of just standing there and shooting at them. He will run towards them and attack them like a normal player. And weapon of choice for him is shotgun. So he's a bit more powerful and he has to be do close range shots to do better damage. The enforcer. Objective, guard the crate and deal heavy damage. Weapon of choice, rifle. So, I assume he will be the strongest um, guard out of all of them. And his job is to defend the crate. And he also has the rifle, which is a very strong weapon here. And uh, he comes over here. And the sniper. Objective, be a lookout to protect the crate. Weapon of choice, sniper. Now, he sounds pretty powerful. I think... The last guy over here, um, where is it? The Enforcer will be a bit stronger, because I feel like de it depends on where this guy is, but if you're closer to him, he'll do less damage. So I feel like the uh, Enforcer will be a bit stronger than him. And that's all they show in this tweet over here. So the next tweet down here. There's also more than one type of crate. Each with different difficulties. Best of all, you can team up. We reward all players who contributed. A valiant effort to the fight. Tomorrow's news for those on slower devices. So right over here, in this video, they show the different types of crates. I assume the one in the front, the wooden one, will be the weakest and easiest to get to. The blue one, or maybe the purple one, but I think it's probably the blue one, will be a medium difficulty and purple will be harder. I assume the brown one will drop less cash, blue one will drop a little more, and purple will drop more than all of them. And that's all they say over here besides uh, tomorrow's news for those on slower devices. I assume they'll just, that tomorrow's news won't be too much, maybe making models a bit smaller or less parts so people on uh, slower devices can play with less lag, which will actually be pretty helpful over there. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.